For several reasons, this medal, a masterpiece from the hand of one of France's greatest medalists, Jean Joachim, has always delighted me, not only because of the extraordinary virtuosity in the modeling, but also in the effective way it tells its story. On the obverse, there is a delicate balance of formality and tender intimacy. The Dowager Queen Mother, Anne of Austria, was barren for 20 years of marriage and made a vow that if she bore a son, she would build a convent and church in Paris for an order of Benedictine nuns. When she was finally blessed with the child, who was to become one of France's greatest monarchs, Louis XIV, she fulfilled the vow. Anne, with a faint smile, embraces her son with restrained pride and joy, while he gently touches her right arm with his left hand and plays with a tassel of her dress with the other. Warin has captured this moment with extraordinary subtlety and restraint. The fulfillment of Anne's vow is shown on the reverse in one of the most beautiful and impressive depictions of architecture in medallic art. This version of the facade provides the only record of the plans for the church at that stage by François Mansart that were soon superseded by those of the final architect, Jacques Le Mercier. The sentiment expressed on the obverse is balanced perfectly by the majesty and monumentality of the reverse in this diminutive triumph of relief sculpture. 